Hello, my YouTube friend. Today I have three massive mystery boxes to go through. This is actually going to be kind of fun because I have no idea what's in these boxes. You guys might remember Nikki and Tommy. They sold me a whole bunch of stuff last year. So this is stuff from them again. Nikki contacted me a couple weeks ago and she said that her daughter Nicole Rose wanted to sell a bunch of her pops. And uh, I've been kind of putting off buying for a little bit just because my store is a little bit slower and I have so many pops I have to film. So I'm kind of like backed up with work. But basically the reason why I bought from them is she said that her daughter had a lot of Adventure Time pops and Indiana Jones pops, which I need for my patron. So I was like, all right, you know what? This is the kind of collection I want to buy. Plus, Nikki and Tommy always give me like a week or two to go through their stuff. So it's not a rush to get through everything. So I actually appreciate that extra time. It allows me to do a mystery box video, which I love to do. And it takes the pressure off. And it also lets me film when I'm ready to film. It's the middle of the night. It's like 3 a.m. right now. And sometimes it's easier for me to film overnight than it is for me to film during the day. Because during the day, we have street traffic. We have phone calls. I have to go to the store a bunch. And there's a lot of distractions. So if I can film at night, it actually makes it a lot easier for me. So I really appreciate that they give me the time to film. And that's one reason why I jumped on this collection. Okay, so this is going to be fun. Uh, let me take the top box down and go through this box first, I guess. I have no idea. I think there's also some pull-up dolls in here, Nikki said. There might be some other things. Not sure. Okay, one box. So what's cool is they give me time to film, kind of look up the values, and then I'm going to pay them after I do the video. So it actually gives me time and it allows me the luxury of doing like a fun mystery video, which I love doing. Uh, okay, so hard to go through these. All right. Okay. All right. Let me go through the bottom box first. Let's see what we got. All right. Okay, we have a Pocahontas. Okay, so this is cool. I believe Pocahontas is vaulted. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have this one, but I think one of my patrons wants that one. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> we have a whole box of Pokemon, which is the hottest craze right now. Uh, I'm not going to go through each individual card. I'm just going to look real quick to see if anything jumps out. Uh, that's all commons. Some uncommons. Uh, commons, uncommons. So I think this is just all commons and uncommons. Yeah, all commons and uncommons, which is fine. I mean, I don't really spend a lot on commons and uncommons because it's just not easy to sell them. But I, I put them in my shop for like a quarter piece and they slowly sell. It just allows the kids that want to buy some Pokemon to come in, you know, spend a couple dollars, get like eight, ten cards, and uh, they're happy and I'm happy. Okay, that is cool. So I think there's going to be pops and a lot of other random things in this video. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we have a Baby Dumbo. It's a Hot Topic exclusive. I actually don't think I have that one. That one I need. Okay, so I'm guessing there's Disney stuff in here. Uh, oh, okay, we have a Hot Topic exclusive Peter Pan. I actually don't know if I have that one. That one might be going to my collection. Okay, let's see what we got. We have a Disney exclusive or from the Disney Treasure Box, the Bambi. That one I know I have. We have, uh, okay, we have a Mickey Mouse plush. I usually don't tend to buy plushes, but that's okay. Uh, oh, okay. We have Captain Hook with the crocodile. That is a really cool, like, cartoon movie moment. Love that one. That one is neat. Okay, we have a Target exclusive Pikachu. Have that one, but that one's always popular. Uh, we have a original Patrick. Okay, that is neat. Bolted pop with value. Okay, so there's going to be some grails in here, I think. Ooh, okay. We have the JMO, Jake as BMO, only at Target. I actually don't know if I have that one. Okay, that is really neat. I want to see more stuff like that. Uh, okay, we have the Smee from the Disney Treasures Box. That is cool. I do have that one already. All right, I hope there's some more rare Adventure Time stuff in here. Oh, this is cool. We have the Hot Topic Glows in the Dark SpongeBob SquarePants. That one is awesome. I do have this one already, but someone's going to want that. I have Patrick and I have that SpongeBob. I wonder if they have any of the other characters. Uh, okay, we have Gunter from Adventure Time. Very cool. I think I have that one already. Okay, there's good stuff in here. Uh, okay, we have Revenge Gerard Way from the My Chemical Romance. That one I'm not sure if I have or not. That one I might need. Okay, sweet. So these are all older bolted pops. Uh, okay, we have the Lumpy Space Princess. Absolutely love this one. This one looks like it's got a little bit of a tear. Which is a shame, but that's alright. Someone will still want that. Uh, okay. Ooh. Okay. It's a little bit worn, so I'm going to have to ask my patron if he wants this one or not. But it's the Indiana Jones from the park. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one looks legit. So very cool pop. I'm going to have to ask him if he wants this one. I'm going to have to knock it down probably about 20% in value just because of the tear on the top. But still, very awesome pop. Okay. Got some big boys in here. Uh, oh, this is cool. We have the Amazon exclusive Fun SpongeBob. I don't have that one yet. I love to have the little plankton on the U. That is cool. That's a newer one. So that one is not as exciting, but it's exciting to me because I don't have it. Uh, okay, we have the common Bulbasaur. That one I do have. Okay, there's going to be a lot of pops in here. Okay, from Black Butler, we have Undertaker. I do not have this one. What year is this? 2014. I guess this one probably has some value. That one is cool. I've never actually seen that one in person. Okay, that is awesome. I'm hoping for more of that kind of stuff. Uh, okay, we have Cake from Adventure Time. Pretty sure I have that one already. The, I think most of Adventure Time stuff, if it's in good shape, it's going to go to my patrons because there's a couple of them that want it. Uh, oh, okay, we have the Flame Princess from Adventure Time. Very awesome. Okay, do you see that? Uh, okay, we have the common Demogorgon. That one I do have. All right, there's a lot of really good stuff in here so far. Okay, we have Cade 6 from Destiny. I think I know someone who might want that one. Uh, okay, we have the Lich from Adventure Time. Very cool. I do have that one already. I have most of Adventure Time stuff. I just don't have the rare exclusive ones. Uh, okay, we have the Poe with Hat from Kung Fu Panda. Very cool. have that one already. So this collection is good because it's going to be a lot of stuff that I'm going to be selling. Okay, we have Louis Spelcher from Bob's Burgers. Love that one. Have it already. I think I have most of the Bob's Burgers ones. Uh, okay, we have the Black Parade Gerard Way. I think this is the one I do have. I don't have the other one. Those are cool. I think those have a bit of value. Uh, okay, we have the Crota from Destiny. It's the Target exclusive. That one I do have. Okay, we have... Oh, Jack Torrance from The Shining. Absolutely love this pop. Very cool pop. Do have that one. Uh, oh, okay, this is cool. We have the Metallic Hot Topic exclusive demo. Absolutely love this pop. This is one of my all-time favorite pops. Do have that one already. All right, so I'm definitely going to have some cool stuff for my patrons. Uh, okay, we have the Skeleton Gerard Way. I think I have this one as well. It's a Hot Topic exclusive. I didn't realize there were three versions of him, so I do have two. Uh, oh, the Crow. Okay, this is cool. I do have this one, but this one people are going to be fighting for. Very cool pop. Very cool pop. Uh, okay, we have the Goth Stand. This one is a bit beat up. But that's okay. You just have to adjust the price. That's all. Okay. All right, there's a lot of good stuff in here. Oh, okay, we have Kurt Cobain. That one is cool. I do have that one already, I think. I might be missing. That's the common one. I might just have the exclusives. I'm going to have to double check. Okay. All right, there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, we have Ron Swanson. It's a 2018 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. That one I do have. Wow, this box is full. Oh, we have CL from Black Butler. Oh, very cool. I do not have that one. That one's going into my collection. Sweet. I like seeing those older bolted anime pops. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, we have RuPaul from RuPaul's Drag Con exclusive. This one I don't think I have, so that one's going in my collection. Okay, let's see what we have. We have the Hot Topic Girl, the Hot Topic exclusive. That one I do have. This is fun because I have no idea what's coming out of the box. Uh, okay, we have the Burger Suit Gene. It's a Hot Topic exclusive. I might be missing this one. This one I have to double check. I think there's one or two exclusives I'm missing. Which is awesome because I love Bob's Burgers. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, okay, we have Amy Winehouse. I was just thinking I wanted this one. She's a little bit beat up, but that's okay. I'm super happy to add her to my collection. Okay, that is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, we have the Princess Bubblegum from Adventure Time. Very cool. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, we got Sebastian from Black Butler. All right, that is neat. These are all a little bit beat up from this set, but that's okay. I'm just happy to get them. Okay, awesome. Awesome. Sweet. I love getting those older sets I don't have. Uh, okay, we have Justin Bieber. <laughs> That's funny. I don't have Justin Bieber, but I think I'll be keeping that one. I do like the Pop Rocks line. Okay. Oh, we have Edward Scissorhands. One of my all-time favorite pops. I do have this one, though, so he'll be for sale. 
Again, though, he's a little bit worn up, so I'll, ha I'll have to adjust the price. They're not mint. They're just awesome. Okay, we have uh, Marceline from Adventure Time. She is awesome as well. Do you have that one already? Wow, this box is full. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, we have April Ludgate from Parks and Recreation. That one I do have. She'll be for sale. Uh, okay, we have Gerard Way Red Tie, a Hot Top exclusive. I did not realize there's like four or five versions of them. I always thought there were just two or three versions. I don't have that one. That one's going to my collection. Uh, okay, what we have here, we have Leslie Knopp from Parks and Rec. That one I do have as well. Uh, okay, we have Hillary Clinton. I think I had that one, so she'll be for sale. Uh, okay, what do we have here? Oh, we have Grell from Black Butler. That is cool. I don't think I have Grell. Wow, I'm surprised I don't have any from this set. Very cool pop. I'm actually really happy to get those. Okay, we have the BML Noir. For, it's a Hot Topic exclusive. Very cool. You have that one. And is that it? Nope, there's a couple more on the back here. Okay, what do we have? What do we have? We have Charmander. Have that one already? Uh, okay. We have uh, Andy Dwyer from Parks and Rec. I have that one already. That will be for sale. Oh, and one more. Okay, first box has been pretty epic. We have a Tigress from Kung Fu Panda. Okay, very cool. They had six or seven Volta Pops I did not own that I really wanted. And a ton of awesome stuff that I'll have from my shop. Okay, very cool. Uh, I'm kind of hoping in the other boxes they have more of the Spongebob ones. Because I would love to put that set together. Okay, let's dig through box number two. I wonder if this one will be as epic as the first box. Alright, let's see what we got. Okay, we have Noah Cindergard. I'm not sure how you say that from the Mets. Uh, this one will sell really well because it's a local player. Uh, oh, we have another one of him. Is it away in... Yeah, it's away in home jerseys. Okay, that's cool. So those I usually don't keep. Uh, okay, we have Mr. McMahon from the wrestling. It's the Chase version. That's cool. Uh, I don't collect wrestling, but is the... Ch I'll sell them. I'll sell them. I kind of want to keep them, but I'll sell them. Uh, okay, then we have the common version of him. These, I think, are Tommy's Pops. Uh, oh, okay, we have a doll. We have a Mirada from Brave. Love Brave, so I'm going to keep that. That was very neat. Uh, oh, we have more plush. We have a Dumbo. Uh, we have some blue stuff. Oh, we have a 10-inch black and white Mickey. That is cool. I'll probably keep that. I've been kind of keeping that out of the box pops just because it's fun to have some that I can put on display that I got for a good price that I'm kind of not worrying about losing value if I take them out of the box. Because they're already out of the box. Okay. Where we have... Oh, okay. We have uh, the Cheshire Cat. This is... Yeah, the Cheshire Cat Steampunk Pull-Up. She's adorable. Now, she's out of the box. Ah. Uh, Nikki sold me a couple out of the box I've been selling. I might end up keeping this one just because I love that one. That one is cool. She's adorable. Uh, oh, okay. This is cool. We have a Disney Infinity Boba Fett. Very neat. I'll probably keep that. Uh, another pull-up doll. Okay. I knew there was a couple of pull-up dolls in here. This is... Oh, okay. This is Sebastian from Black Butler. That is cool. I think I have them, but I think I know someone who might want that doll. Okay, very cool. Very awesome. Uh, oh, okay, we have a 10-inch bullseye. Okay, that is cool. As you can see on my wall, I have them already, so that one will be for sale. Okay, very neat. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, okay, we have... Oh, this is cool. We have a Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon, a 10-inch, but out of the box. Oh, he is neat looking. I love these 10-inch pops, and out of the box, they're even more exciting. Okay, that is a really cool pop. That one's going in my collection. Uh, just a few more items. Okay, we have a whole bunch of these Elite Series die-cast figures, so we've got Anakin. That I might give to the cool kid, because he's been really into Star Wars lately, and he really loves the Anakin from the movies. Okay, let's see. We, oh, we have Darth Vader. That is kind of neat. Uh, okay, what do we have? We have the Boba Fett. What I really like about these is they're all die cast. They're just very hefty and chunky and kind of fun. That is neat. Okay, 
And then we have a, I think the prototype, uh, yeah, prototype armor of Boba Fett. That one is neat. We have an ornament. Just says Disney Showcase, Disney Traditions. Uh, oh, I think it's a Pocahontas. Yeah, it's a really beautiful Pocahontas statue. That is kind of neat. I'll consider keeping that. Just because it's so nice. I might sell it though. I have to decide. I gotta decide how much value. Right now I'm trying to make a little bit of profit when I buy stuff. So I gotta sell a little bit more than half. Try to keep less than a third of the value. Just so that I can start making some money. Because I need a few dollars. Uh, okay, and then the last thing in here is a really cool Mickey Mouse photo poster print thing. It's got like a fun frame to it. I really like the way that looks. I'm sure someone will want to buy that because it's neat. Okay. Let's see. Oh, this looks like pull-up dolls and statues. Okay, we just have some extra cards from the pull-up dolls. I do like the little trading cards they include. Uh, okay, these are more of those cool statues. This is a Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. So you'll see spinning next to me what that looks like. Uh, another Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse statue. That's very cool. Okay, we have a Alice in Wonderland, the chrome one. No, it's the sepia version, the classical Alice sepia pull-up. So all these are out of the box. Usually new, these are like $120, $140. Out of the box, they're like this when they've been open. They're worth about $80 to $100. So I usually will pay about half that value. We have another classical Alice. These are adorable. If I had the space, I would probably just end up keeping all these just to have out of the box versions. Because a lot of these I have already in the box. Oh, they're all kind of bouncing around. I actually don't think I have this one. She is really pretty. And then uh, this is the black. Yeah, it's the Romantic Alice monochrome version. She is very cool. I think that one's a little bit harder to get now. And then... Uh, this is the classical, yeah, no, Romantic Alice. These are really cool. I love the Alice in Wonderland ones. Uh, okay, and then we have some Mickey Mouses. We have a Mickey Mouse plush, a Mickey Mouse pop, a stand, but not for this pop, so I gotta figure out what that goes to, and a Mickey Mouse. I wonder if this is his stand. No, it's not his stand. This is a fun, just like vinyl Mickey Mouse. I'm not sure who that's from. Uh, okay, so that's everything from Nikki and Tommy. Thank you guys for selling me the collection. I had a lot of fun going through it. I'm going to put a couple other mega epic Funko Pop hauls right there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.